From WFTV, this is Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 5. Coverage you can count on. Developing right now, the violent takedown that broke an 84-year-old man's neck now has the Orlando Police Department investigating its own training. Nobody at this agency can defend Mr. Daly getting his neck broken. Channel 9's Mary Wynn was there as Police Chief Val Demings announced she would consider changing training policies to make sure this doesn't happen again. And Mary, you found out the victim, Daniel Daly, is well enough now to start talking again at the hospital. Daly's attorney says he's heavily medicated, but he has started talking. Now, in the meantime, the Orlando Police Department says it is in the process of filling out this lengthy defensive tactics form and will decide if any changes need to be made. The Orlando Police Department is now changing its tune about an officer's use of force against an 84-year-old man who suffered a broken neck during a takedown last week. This is a technique that we have done for years. Something definitely went wrong in this case. Orlando Police Chief Val Deming says seven supervisors will take a look at what happened and determine what changes need to be made. 84-year-old Daniel Daly left a College Park bar upset that his car had been towed. Eyewitnesses say Officer Travis Lamont then slammed the elderly man onto the pavement. Initially, OPD defended its officer's use of force. A spokesperson said Daly was drunk and threatened the officers. People 84 can kill officers too, can cold cock my officer in the face, knock him out. Chief Deming says initial reports show the officer applied the technique properly, but a review will determine what actually happened. Richard Weinblatt, who reviews law enforcement policies, says Orlando police needs to review what happened and the agency should use this incident as a learning experience. The problem isn't with the actual technique. The problem may be, and that's what the review is going to hopefully help to determine, may be when it is applied. The officer, the officer is currently on regular duty. In the meantime, we talked to Daly's attorney. He tells us he thinks more changes need to be made, and we'll talk to you about that coming up at 6. Reporting live in Orlando, Mary Wynn, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.